50 years, Mitsubishi has been a pioneer in electric vehicles. It was in fact the very first manufacturer to bring a fully electric car to the UK and it produces Britain's best-selling plug-in hybrid vehicle with the Outlander PHEV. Over the last 12 months, Mitsubishi has given us a glimpse into the future with the Concept XR PHEV2 and the EX Concept. And here at the 2016 Paris Motor Show, the next chapter is unveiled with this, the Grand Tourer PHEV Concept. It's described by the company as the latest expression of Mitsubishi Motors' design journey encompassing functional beauty, augmented possibilities, Japanese craftsmanship and sculptured dynamism. Look back at the concepts that Mitsubishi has unveiled over the last 12 months and you'll see some of the similarities with the design direction. This dynamic shield front grille gives this concept a real presence and while it is an SUV size, it still maintains sporty characteristics. It also has sharp character lines and a flat roof line to give a sense of stability and security for the driver. Around the dynamic shield grille are headlamps that are separated to help it stand out at night. The upper half houses daytime running lamps and turn signals to make them more noticeable for pedestrians, while the bottom are reserved for the headlights. This low floating roof line is finished in a dark burgundy red which matches the car's interior styling. That along with this high window line here really help push the GT Concept's imposing stance. Then the C-pillar here uses an airplane tail fin as a motif which really makes it look like nothing else in its class. And look at this round the back here. The rear lights are stretched across the entire width of the tailgate and in there there are the indicators, the brake lights, the reverse lights and of course the tail lights all made up of 14 separate vertical units with a slimline wraparound element in the corner there. Very stylish. Under the tail lamps is this lower bumper that has a rubber coated skid plate which echoes the one used at the front and is designed to add to the sense of toughness and stability. And as you'd expect with any classy concept, you've got these five large double spoke alloys plus this sporty body styling which really helps to enhance the double edged wheel arches. All of this comes together to give it a solid yet imposing stance. Inside, designers have been working hard to give the cabin a theme that combines Japanese craftsmanship with easy to use functionality. But there's no clutter or oddly placed buttons, all the controls and switch gear have a place that has been carefully thought out and is there for a reason. And as you'd expect, there's some neat tech in here too, like this centrally located instrument cluster, which provides you with the usual technical data and energy flow. It's all very futuristic, but as well as that, it's connected to the cloud, which means not only will it tell you the way home, but it will tell you the road and weather conditions too. Also, have a look at these slim wing mirrors. There's no glass in sight. They actually house two small cameras that project a rear view image onto a monitor in front of the driver. And that's not it. At the bottom of the windscreen in front of the driver is a head-up display system that shows information like vehicle speed and sat-nav instructions. So, on to the business of power and performance. As already mentioned, this concept car is a plug-in hybrid, but it uses a more modern version of the plug-in hybrid technology found in the Outlander PHEV on sale now. It has a 25 kilowatt per hour high energy density next generation high capacity battery package that is stored under the floor. This works in conjunction with a 2.5 litre petrol engine. In electric only mode it will do 120 kilometres or an impressive 1,200 kilometres when working in conjunction with the engine. That's around 720 miles or with emissions of just 26 grams per kilometre of CO2. Wow! All that in a true four-wheel drive car. Sounds pretty impressive, huh? In fact, it incorporates Mitsubishi's super all-wheel control system, which comprises of an active front differential, controlling torque split between the front wheels. While at the rear, active yaw control and active stability control will offer dramatic improvements to the way it accelerates corners and brakes. Unfortunately, the GT concept remains just a concept for now, but it does show the direction Mitsubishi is taking with its styling and technology of its next generation cars.